sexy, Chinese, Chinese and, and queer. queer. I'm not any of those things. Right. Sexy, <laughs> you're sexy. Chinese and queer. I have the best feet. I'm stunning. Let me see your feet. Sorry. Later, later, later. Buzz feet. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Sherry Cola. I play Lolo in Joyride. Oh, I am Stephanie Xu, and I play Catherine Huang. Hi, I'm Ashley Park. I play Audrey in Joyride. I'm Sprinu. I play Deadeye. No big deal. Hi, I'm Adele Lim, director of Joyride. Today, we're going to be answering burning questions with BuzzFeed A-pop. BuzzFeed A-pop. A-pop. Crushed it. I had a pair of boots that I really want. I am um, <laughs> accidentally, I didn't, I mean, it was just a total accident. I have like four pairs of sweatpants. People actually always ask that question and I'm like, are actors just kleptos? Like, okay, it's not that I'm a klepto. To... It's that like, I've never had clothes that felt so good. I'm like, so sad to like, I'm like, these pants are tailored for me. I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go back to wearing things that don't fit and are always wrinkly, so. We stole so much from set. We stole a lot. Sorry, Lionsgate, you're not even hearing this right now. Interesting pieces of art that Lolo the character did that I saw, I was just like, I want that in my bathroom. Maybe it's not in storage right now. Sorry, Lionsgate. This is really, I this is really effing cheesy. The, All of it. We play a lot of board games together. A lot of board games, a lot of just like being in each other's apartments. On set, Ashley and I made up songs like every hour oh, on the did. hour. Sexy, Chinese, Chinese and, and queer. queer. I'm not any of those things. Right. Sexy, see, you're sexy. Chinese and queer. Or Ashley camel toe. Not. High waisted jeans. jeans. I don't wanna go low no, no, no more. No. Say hello to, to my, my camel toe. toe. All these things are original songs. The problem is Shiri picks an octave that's too low for all of us. I go deep in the ground when it comes to sound. Sound? Whoa. Oh, it was when we switched outfits. Oh, yeah. We had this idea of changing our clothes, and we didn't ask anyone for permission. We just changed our costumes, and everybody wore a little piece of everybody else's costume. That was really cute. It was cute. And that's for the diehard fans. The K-pop video. We'd been rehearsing the song, we recorded it, the cast had been working on choreography for it, and then when they got on set and, you know, performed it as a K-pop group, we were looking at each other going like, oh my god, are our cast actually like rock stars now? It was the best. A game. Adele, A, and Tiger Woods like made it famous of just like, I did not have my A game today. Mm -hmm. And also speaks to a little bit of that model minority try hard, kind of just like you want to do your best all the damn time and you know, have a little swag doing it. I love Janelle Monae's new album. I was just in New York and I was like, just straight up on the J train floating. I was like, what's happening? I don't even care who knows that I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I just recently saw Zella Day play a concert in Williamsburg. Mm. She was awesome. I think a continual obsession of mine is Zendaya. Just basically her entire vibe, fashion sense, way she carries herself, and what she's doing in terms of defining what beauty is, what it means to be like a young woman in this industry. Besides every moment on set. <laughs> it was definitely tough for me having to eat. I think the very first day that we filmed that scene where we were all like post train, like drugged up. It's my first truly day on first, set. First set experience ever. They're like, can you eat this cattail? Like choke on dried cattail. And Real then, cattail. And then run into this wet bog. And I did that like 30 times in front of so many people. I would call up my heroes. And, so, <laughs> and I was still like, I gotta run as hard as I can. <laughs> it's for the art. And for my heroes, yeah. it was worth it. <laughs> in Can I tell Sherry's? I'm in hair and makeup at lunch, and we hear a do, 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 crash. Fall out of my trailer. And one of the hairs went out, and we were like, what happened? It's, it's Sherry. Sherry. Sherry fell out of her trailer. And we were like, is she OK? And he was like, no. <laughs> but the best Memories. part about it, long story short, is that the medics came to help Sherry. Oh this God. is the second day of set, so we haven't it's met everybody. Best. Then we go to get a hot dog later that day at the Crafty. And, and we go, and she's the like. The Crafty folks were the medic folks. So wellness. she was like, the man who just made our hot dogs was checking out my vitals butt. and was icing my, my butt. butt. Yeah. It felt right. What is the definition of unhinged? I used it like 18 times yesterday. Just loose and flailing. I would say probably like the threesome, but I actually don't think that was unhinged. That was liberating. I think what's unhinged, it's in the movie, but you only see it for a split second, is Audrey holding a chicken, like right. a live chicken. The random guy next to me in the theater at South by was like, what's she doing with that chicken? That's a lie. That's a lie. I was next. <laughs> Are you, you were serious? next to me. You were literally next to me.
I think my favorite cat unhinged moment is I'm in what we call a, a cookie monster outfit. People are like kind of taking pictures of her and she's like, oh my gosh, maybe I have fans here. But then she quickly discovers that actually it's a bad reason as to why people are trying to take her picture. So she like hides in her little cookie monster hood and has an emotional breakdown. I think that's my favorite cat unhinged moment. My favorite dead eye unhinged moment is probably when I'm being like hosed down. Oh, I love that. Yeah, moment. and I just scream, look at me, look at me. And my favorite cat unhinged moment part of the sex montage. There's a fun sequence in there with a Theragun and a basketball and how fearless Steph Shu was because we know her as Steph Shu Oscar nominee. Class act. Here she was just like throwing herself into it completely unapologetically with Sabrina, the K-pop dance battle where they're kind of like, you know, doing a dance battle with another BTS fan that they've met. So much attitude in that. It was amazing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Are, they are they all gonna, gonna be about this in the, the sex, sex montage? montage? They, they just, just might be. be with Ashley Park. Again, it was a special uh, threesome scene and Ashley Park had come from Broadway. I'm pretty sure she's never done like a scene like this ever. It was a lot of explaining to do with her parents. But when she got on set, her comfort and her fearlessness and her, her joy made it really easy for the other actors to kind of get in the mood. With Sherry Cola, every moment is an unhinged moment. There's a moment where the character of Lolo and Baron Davis, they were supposed to ha be having like this heartfelt conversation. She's the most sexually assertive character and so we thought like, oh, well, maybe while everybody else is having an unhinged night, this character will be having a heart to heart. But then she and Baron had other ideas. It became this whole thing. It was the best. If those are the only two options given to me, I'm gonna have to go with a butt for obvious reasons. What would you get if you were to get a butt tattoo? A Hello Kitty. <laughs> You know, perhaps a buffet situation where you get to like pick and choose from a little bit of it. I don't know, these are really personal questions. <laughs> oh, I was the class clown. Maybe most cringe. <laughs> really? I don't know. I would say a lot of the guys in my group were like, that's not funny. But there were also people that thought it was awesome and funny, so. And look at you now. Yeah, still cringe. <laughs> in trouble. I grew up in Malaysia. We didn't really have theater in high school there, but again, went to a very conservative Asian high school and I was always like writing plays about sex workers and illegitimate children. I don't know. Maybe it's a natural path from there to Joyride. Thanks for all your questions. I hope they were burning and quelled. Mm -hmm. Buzzfeed A-pop, wow, we love you. Be sure to catch Joyride opening weekend, July 7th. Come see Joyride, right. July 7th. Come see watch Joyride. Bring all your day drinking friends and go to the theater to watch it.